Hello, this is Zipar Designs for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this loop at expression animation in Adobe After Effects. We're going to be using a few uh, really simple expressions, uh, bits of code in Adobe After Effects to make these looping animations that repeat like forever effectively. So, and you can see this is what it looks like when it's completed. So expressions are lines of code, like I said. Um, they're used to automate some animations within the program, so like there's no need to do them manually. So they're a lot easier and less scary than they sound, and they help a ton with speeding up your workflow. So while sometimes they can be long and complicated, we'll be using small ones today. Very often we'll want to loop animations, whether for social media posts or more complex projects that need repetitive animations within them. This tutorial will show how to get those done really quickly and very easily. The only external file we're going to be using is this clock graphic, um, and that should be preloaded into the project file when you open it up. It was uh, set up prior before in Adobe uh, Illustrator with separate layers so it could be animated in After Effects. It's stored in the Assets folder in the Project folder if you need to relink it for whatever reason. Um, and you can find the entire project file in the video description below. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to be getting into this Mantle Clock pre-comp by double-clicking on it. And that should take us to this screen. And we're going to be paying attention mostly to the hour hand, the minute hand, and the pendulum. Um, the first thing that we're going to be doing is uh, hit Y on the keyboard to bring up the anchor point tool. This is the uh, reference point for the object for After Effects when it's, when it's animating. So I'm going to start from the pendulum, and we're going to want to grab it and drag it over the base of each object. That's kind of where it's going to be swinging from, the hour hand as well, all the way to the bottom. The minute hand, let's drag that down. There we go, I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to go back to the selection tool. Um, and now I'm going to be animating the pendulum. So on the pendulum, hit R for rotation. Um, you know, it should start out at around, let's put this at 30 degrees. There we go. Um, put down a key, uh, you know, hit the stop, which just start that first keyframe. Um, and let's have it repeat about you know, a minute and a half, it'll hit the other side. So we'll put it in negative 30 because it's swinging the other way. And highlight both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease, that's going to make this look more organic and smooth. Now we're going to put in our first expression. So alt click the uh, little stopwatch, the active stopwatch next to rotation. And we're going to start putting in a little teeny, teeny bit of code over here. And the program actually has it preloaded into it. So as soon as you start typing loop, it'll give you a couple of loop options. We're going to be using three different ones in this project. Um, so we're going to first, we're going to choose loop out. I'll explain the difference between these guys. Loop out. And in the parentheses, we're going to do quotation marks. And then we're going to be choosing ping pong. Um, the reason for this is because, and then also deselect, so it'll activate, it'll refresh, and uh, show us the updated uh, animation. So let's preview this animation. Swings one way, swings the other way. So you can see that it'll repeat this animation. We only have two keyframes, but this thing is going to keep going and going and going, um, you know, till whenever we decide to make it stop. Um, and you'll see that it goes from one side to the other, and then it'll go back the opposite way. It ping pongs. Um, now the difference between loop out and loop in, as you saw those, uh, loop in options, is that loop in will loop the animation, but it'll, it'll stop before the first keyframe looping into the animation. But loop out will loop out, you know, will loop beyond the last keyframe, right? So you see that, you know, our keyframe ends over here, but it'll keep moving after that. See? Um, there's also, you can alter loop out um, by adding in a um, modifier, um, num keyframes, num keyframes, and that'll specify like how many keyframes you want looping here. But we're just using the basic uh, out of the box um, uh, looping expressions. All right, so let's head over to the minute hand over here, and we're also gonna rotate that thing. So, um, we want to hit the stopwatch to start our keyframes. Let's put this 
Um, I wanted to make a full revolution. Let's put it two seconds in. So for rotation in that first little box over here, I'm going to put in one. I'm not going to easy ease these things because I, I don't, I want it to kind of move very mechanically. It is a clock. Um, and we are going to loop this. So again, I'll click on the active stopwatch, start writing loop. Now for this loop out, we're actually just going to leave this one blank. Um, alternatively, we can type in uh, cycle, but cycle is, you know, instead of ping pong, we type in cycle, but cycle is actually the default loop. So check what happens when we preview this. So you can see that the, um, you know, that hand keeps going round and round and round and round. And, you know, that's what the basic loop out uh, uh, expression does or loop out cycle. It just keeps the previous value going round and uh, that's it. Pretty simple, nothing else. So now we are going to animate the hour hand. So like before, select the hour hand, hit rotation. Um, I have my plate at the beginning. I'm gonna hit this stopwatch and I'm actually gonna have this go a little longer, uh, double the time of the minute hand. And I'm going to be changing it incrementally by 30 degrees. So it's a second box in the, in the rotation values. Um, and now for this one, we're going to be using a slightly different, um, looping command, looping expression. So I'll click on the active stopwatch, loop out. The one that we're going to be using, so quotation marks, is offset. So what offset does is that it takes the initial change in value and it keeps adding it to itself. So I'll show you what I mean when I preview this. All right, so you can see as the hour hand moves along, it's moving by increments of 30, meaning that from here to here on the timeline, it moved 30 degrees. And then, you know, in that same amount of time, it's nearly three seconds. So nearly six seconds, it moved 60 degrees, you know, so it added 30 degrees to itself. Um, and yeah, so that's what offset does. Now, I will also want to show you that the cool thing about loops is that they'll also adjust to when you move your keyframes around. So I'm actually gonna grab all my keyframes and I am going to change their time. I'm gonna make them move really fast and then let's see how that looks. So let's hit play. Now you can see that it's still looping even when they moved a lot faster. So I'm gonna reset that back to how they were before. Um, this also works if I would extend these, you know, these keyframes, it would loop out, you know, beyond those keyframes. Um, you can also extend and shorten the, uh, pre-comp and the layers as well. The loops still behave. So that's loop out. It's easy to see how this can help in a lot of other After Effects projects. You can automate everything from text to objects with this expression. You can animate the wheels on a car going around forever, a hopping bug, some text scaling small and big, anything, anything that needs to continue in a loop. So it's not just rotation, it's position and scale as well. The offset expression is extra useful for objects when, with unusual motion paths too. Like if it's moving in a squiggle, it'll, it'll repeat that as well. So there's a lot of flexibility with that. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make this loop out effect in Adobe After Effects. This has been Zapparo Designs for Noble Desktop.